Hello and welcome. Hyperbolic differentiation for further mathematicians. But the whole point of this uh, lecture, not so much the hyperbolics, is uh, a technique that is no longer a thing in most syllabi. Uh, I had the question like this on the trigonometric, a trigonometric version of it. And um, it had a lot of structure. So I thought to myself, why don't I make a hyperbolic version remove the structure and put into one of my special papers, the SPX range. So what the question is actually essentially saying, it says is if f of x is this quantity here, the square root of one minus four third shine squared of x, all over one plus tanch all squared, with the usual thing that the denominator cannot be zero, so the tanch of x cannot be minus one, to find the exact value of f dash of log two. And um, as I just said, uh, it's one of the rare times that I actually have the answer uh, <clears throat> because I only wrote this question uh, a couple of hours ago. So uh, what answer did I get? I hope it's correct. Actually, it is correct because I did check with my computer my, and my uh, an algebra program. <coughs> and I can do it very, very quickly. So how do we do something like this? Of course, my program, I just literally typed this quantity in there. I said, differentiate me, please. And then evaluate me at log two. And in sort of 15 thousandths of a second, it said to me, the answer is that. I do do it like that. If we have to do it for ourselves, the answer is uh, I certainly wouldn't. Uh, I mean, you have to pay me a lot of money and it will hurt my head an awful lot. So the technique that is involved in this particular type of differentiation is called logarithmic, which is just an offshoot of implicit differentiation. And it's nice to know it. Um, so here, because I know what, obviously I've, I've done this many times in, 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 my, in my life, um, I'm going to prepare the bits that I'm going to need because I don't want to start with the logarithmic differentiation and then they realize, oh, I need to go and get that, oh, I need to go and get that. So for something like this, looking at this expression, I need to have, um, for example, the first and obvious thing, because of the evaluation that I'm trying to make, I'm trying to get the three main hyperbolic ratios evaluated at log two, because I'm going to need them, so I have them ready. Um, so that is going to be a half e to the log two minus e to the minus log two. You can use a calculator if you're just interested, just on the technique, but as I just explained, this has gone into one of the non-calculator papers, so really Technically, calculator is not allowed, which adds a little bit, perhaps, um, <clears throat> of the, a certain degree of difficulty, but perhaps uh, tediousness. Two take away half is three over two, three quarters. Same thing for the cosh. Uh, not difficult, of course. All standard stuff, standard formulas. So hopefully we are following to five over two, five quarters. And for the tanch, um, I'm going to use e to the 2x minus 1 over e to the 2x plus 1. Um, I'm actually quite stupid. Um, since I have shine and cosh, I can just divide them. But it's useful to remember this formula, so I'm not really really ashamed as such. So um, here it is. So that's going to be e to the log 4 minus 1, e to the log 4 plus 1 which is four minus one, four plus one, which of course is three fifths, which is what I would have got from that. So all I'm doing next is I'm just recording these quantities. So they're ready. That is three quarters, that's a shine. The cosh of the log of two is five quarters. And my tanch is of course three fifths. And I can wrap this off. And I got one more thing that I really need to have ready and calculated. And you, need, you will see where I need it in a second. Uh, don't forget, this is not a given there. This is the answer that we ought to get. The question says to find the ex exact value of that, and it will turn out to be this quantity, I hope. So the next thing in logarithmic differentiation, we need the f of log 2. So basically, 
this quantity evaluated at log 2. Which is not difficult again because we have all these quantities already there. So that's going to be 1 minus 4 thirds. Um, shine squared is 9 sixteenths. 1 plus the tanch is 3 fifths. 4 squared. Okay, what do we get from that? 3 and 3, 4 and 4, 1 minus 3 quarters. That's a quarter in there. Um, <clears throat> 8 fifths. So that's going to be 64 over 25, which of course is a half of the 64 over 25, which of course will give us 25 over 128. So again, this is recorded here. The F of the log of 2 is 25 over 128. And I can play the board once again. And now I will start a technique which you will need to see and you will appreciate the power of this technique. <clears throat> I have loads of questions on logarithmic differentiation. Unfortunately, they're not grouped in a book, but um, under differentiation for normal year 13s in the exam book, which has, I don't know, about 300 plus questions. Towards the end, there are lots of questions that uh, they're all scattered in there, maybe a good 10 questions that involve this technique. Okay, this is how it works. We take, we look at the equation trying to differentiate, and rather than differentiating it, because the intention, look at this mess, is to actually take logs, natural logs, on both sides. So the log of that is going to be definitely the log of that. And I'm going to write the square root as a power of a half, because it's easier. And you will see, of course, in a minute why. So far, so good, this is all valid. And I have enough room here. And now I'm going to use the rules of logs, and that's the whole point of that. The logarithmic differentiation is two points. Firstly, <clears throat> the logs have rules. And secondly, logs, simple logs, are easy to differentiate. So that's going to be the log of this to the power of a half minus. So the differentiation hasn't started yet. It's about to start. And I'm going to put an extra line because this powers can come to the front. I don't want any additional change. So it's going to be just a log of something reasonably simple. So that is going to be a half log 1 minus 4 thirds shine squared the half I move to the front minus 2 1 plus the times of x. Oops, I put the square there. The 2 has gone to the front, of course. And now, diff or differentiate with respect to x. And as I said, logs are very easy to differentiate. Log of f of x to be differentiated, you go 1 over times the differential of its argument. Equal a half, 1 over his argument, I missed the h, very annoying, times the differential of his argument, this thing here, the one will differentiate to nothing, so if I differentiate minus 4 thirds shine squared of x with respect to x is going to differentiate to minus 8 thirds the two come to the front shine of x cosh of x so um <clears throat> in this particular case make sure you you know your, your basic differentiation otherwise i mean if we cannot uh, really differentiate a shine squared we need to go and revise a little bit first of all some more basic stuff so i'm going to write the three at the bottom and i'm going to write the minus eight shine x cosh x on the top and let's get rid of this thing that is written there because I've got more differentiation to do the other one is a little bit simpler um, minus a 2 that's that bit there <clears throat> 1 over this argument 
1 plus the tangent of x times a set squared tangent differentiates to set squared the same way tangent differentiates to sec squared of x. So <clears throat> do I tidy this up? And let's look at these things and why I was doing in the beginning what I was doing. I want to evaluate this at log 2. So first of all, 1 over f of log 2 is this quantity here. That's why I have it ready. And if you look at this shine, cosh, tans, and sets, they're all there. So I can just plug in numbers now, really. Um, a little bit tedious, but you have to be very careful. Um, that is 25 over 128. You have to be careful. f dash of log 2, which is what the quantity that hopefully will be uh, what uh, I've got up there. Okay, so we have to be careful now. And I'm not using a calculator, so one minus four thirds. Shine squared, uh, nine sixteenths. On the top, I've got a one. Times minus eight, shine is three quarters. Cosh is five quarters. And then we got also divided by three. Minus, let's write the two at the top. One plus three fifths. And the sets. Uh, sets is 16 over 25. It's an upside down cosh squared. Okay. <coughs> Loads of space still needed. So we don't really need this anymore. We write at the end now is um, all just um, numbers really. And we have to be careful. Well, I have to be careful. You're probably using a calculator. Um, so first of all, 128 over 25 F dash of log 2. So that's this quantity here. Is equal to half 3 3 4 4 1 minus 3 quarters is a quarter. 1 divided by quarter is 4. So that is that. And then we have this particular quantity. Minus 8. 3 quarters divided by 3 is a quarter times 5 quarters. I make that minus. Uh, actually, well, it doesn't matter now. Uh, minus 40 over 16. Uh, we can divide by 8. So it's going to be minus 5 over 2. So times minus 5 over 2 for this uh, particular one. So that is all of this. And what do we have for this one? We're having, so that's gone. We're having 8 fifths, 2 divided by 8 fifths, which is 2, 8 fifths, 5 divided by 8. So that's this quantity here. Don't forget the minus times 16 over 25, uh, the 8 cancel that into a 2, so we have a minus, 2 times 2 is 4, 20 over 25, which I make it, oops, I wrote 20 there, 20 over 25, which I make it a minus 4 fifths. Hope it's all correct. Let's make a little bit of room, and I think we're done now, really. I think that's simple enough. It's not that hard. <laughs> okay, so... Um, 1 to 8 over 25, f dash of log 2 is equal to uh, 2 to 4 minus 5, minus 4 fifths. Um, what's the best way of doing this? Uh, because I'm not using a calculator, I'm going to multiply this expression by 25. So it's going to give me minus 1 to 5 for this. And 4 fifths of 25 is 20. And which of course is minus one four five. And of course, I did say, I did check this one with uh, uh, an algebra system, so it's, it can't be wrong. Although the algebra system will not be doing it the way I've just done, done it by direct differentiation. 
it did give me the answer, which of course I got to with a completely different technique. I hope you followed a little bit this logarithmic differentiation. This is, of course, a question which is basically for the heavyweights for you to see it, unless you think uh, logarithmic differentiation is, is going to be quite uh, a pain. But uh, I do advise you to do look up this particular topic because it's very, very useful. For the time being, I'm signing out and I'll catch up with you real soon. Bye for now.